Women experience energy poverty differently from men. And when we are talking about energy poverty, we are talking about um, lack of or totally no access to clean and affordable energy. So um, our work centers on women because of their household roles, the role they play in the community uh, with regards to energy and also within the households. So um, the work that we are doing um, in all the countries, we are looking at women who are affected by the production of energy. Uh, uh, for example, in South Africa, we are focusing on women who are affected by the, con by the extraction and also the combustion of coal, uh, which is being used as a source of energy or generation of electricity. So why we are focusing on the women who are living in the vicinity of these projects, it is because they face the devastating impacts of the extraction and also of the combustion in terms of the destruction of their environment, land dispossession, and also the health impacts on their bodies uh, as a result of the, uh, for example, pollution uh, uh, by coal and um, both air pollution and water pollution. Women who are living in coal mining areas near the coal-fired uh, power plants, they do not have access to electricity. And where they have the access is too expensive for ordinary grassroots women to be able to afford to have it. So we are focusing on, on, on those areas and creating spaces for women to tell their stories and to start imagining the kind of energy system that they would like to see. So we are working at local level, the women organizing themselves into a, a movement um, uh, in the form of an African sisterhood around energy poverty. And um, we are also coming up with a regional narrative of at a regional level, what exactly are we pushing as, as uh, African women who are affected by energy poverty. Climate variations we are experiencing in Africa, the ongoing droughts, the flooding, the, the too much violent winds that we, are, that we are experiencing. Women are unable to cope and because they are working on the land, it means food production is compromised because part of their land has been taken and now they are facing droughts. At the same time, they are living in energy poverty. So this is why we are bringing in the issue of climate justice because the women who are living in disaster prone areas and in cases where we are having extreme weather conditions like now, women suffer much, much more because of the, of like what I mentioned before, the role that they play. Women are actively involved in the energy sector uh, in the form of they provide energy for their families, they provide energy for their communities, they provide energy in the form of biomass, they, they come up with uh, small technologies uh, for cooking, for lighting, but that contribution is, is, is not taken into consideration. Women actually subsidize government when it comes to access to energy because they provide those services which governments are unable to provide for some reason. And their contribution is invisible. So this is one of the issues that we would like to bring at the forefront, creating those spaces to make the struggles of women visible, to make the contributions women are making visible, and also uh, create those spaces for women to start discussing uh, exactly if we are talking about renewable energy, what form should it take. Together with the, with the communities and organizations we're working with, we are still thinking through, but definitely the mega renewable energy solutions have not worked. Because in Kenya, for example, there are struggles around the the, the, the wind farms, um, communities, women are fighting for their land, which have been um, taken by the government so that they can um, use as the wind farms. In some areas, there are struggles uh, for land uh, with uh, some solar projects which have grabbed land from the community. So we definitely, definitely no, not looking at mega renewable energy solutions. We are looking at maybe microgrids or mini grids 
which the communities can be able to, 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 to sustain themselves. But we are also still looking at how are we going to ensure that they, all, they will always have access.